If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it. And enjoy the next video. In today's coaching video, we're going to be working on a builder play once again, but it will go to a 4v3 into the 25 area. Um, you can start the ball from here. You can go this way uh, for the for the builder play into the 4v3, and you can go the other way. I'm just going to explain the one way, and then you as a coach can go that way as well. Um, with this specific uh, regards, you want to try and, this is the defenders, and you want to try and teach them the triangle. So always one on top. So if the ball comes this way, there's always a guy that putting up pressure with these guys just behind him. They're like a nice little rubber band. So they just keep going where the top of the diamond goes. If the ball shifts around, the next person that's closest to the ball will become the top of the diamond or the triangle. And then they will just try and set, set, set it up like that. And they need to try and follow the ball as they go. And then that's a great way for your defenders, if their number's down, to maintain and delay the attack so that the rest of the players can come up. Um, but for this specific drill, all the balls will start over here. Um, how it will start is this player will pass the ball to the player in the midfield. He's going to try and receive the ball and try and pass the ball to the far side. While that's happening, this player will now start making a lead into the 25 with this player doing exactly the same. Over here, we want to try and make, we want to try and keep the space over here for this player to run onto. So we're going to first pass the ball to this player for this defender to put pressure on. So now you can see it creates a little bit more space up there. All that's going to happen is it's like a give and go. Ball's going to go back to this player on the side. Now he's got space to go into the T point and try and attack the circle from there. As soon as it all comes into the, into the 25, it now becomes a nice little 4v3 where the attackers, your objective is to try and score. Defenders are trying to delay as much as possible. If they win the ball, try and work the ball out over the 25 line. It's a great way for your defenders to teach um, them how to work the ball out so that they can start a counter attack in the game situation. But from here, you can make any type of leads. Try and get your attackers to full spaces in the circle where they can get the ball. So normally 90 piece spot or four post, that's a great way to just fill the spaces so that this person knows he's got places to pass a ball. And then from there, you just play the 4v3 until it's either a goal or the defenders get the ball over the line.